Sutras continued. Brahma Sutras continued. Prana is Brahman. Ath ev prana. And the direct translation, prana refers to Brahman. So let's explore this. Let's uh, forget the original commentaries for the moment. They're useful. But uh, let's uh, explore what this Brahma Sutra is saying. Basically it's saying prana is consciousness. Energy is consciousness. Okay, try this. Raise your arm. How did you do that? Okay. Believe it or not, science doesn't have an answer because you started with an intention, right? When I said, raise your arms, you had the intention. The intention is not a physical phenomenon, right? It is, uh, it's a thought and uh, it has no um, location in space-time as a physical entity, although you can see it's no neural correlate in the brain. So the intention is a non-material thought. And this seems to be a very physical activity, right? So if mind and body are two different things, then how does the mind create the activity of the body? That's not only the hard problem of consciousness, but it violates the laws of thermodynamics. If mind and body are two separate things, then what mediates this interaction of mind and body? Okay. Yes, that's one of the hard problems of consciousness, that we cannot explain mind-body interactions if we think of mind as non-physical and the body as physical. Okay, now look at an object. Look at me, look at uh, your own computer, look at anything. And the current scientific explanation is that uh, photons are coming into your eyes. They're sending electrical currents to your brain and there's electrochemistry in your brain, but you don't experience electrochemistry, you experience everything that you're experiencing right now. These words, which are also electro electrical signals to your brain. You're seeing, you're hearing these words, you're thinking your own thoughts, you're looking at the computer, elsewhere, etc. So, very interesting. I asked you to look at something and suddenly something appeared. Whatever it was, then you looked elsewhere and something else appeared. Then you looked at your own body and that appeared. Okay. But in all this, according to current science, all that was going to your brain was photons. How did this experience happen? Okay, how did photons give you the experience of a material world? That's also a hard problem of consciousness. So we're stuck, as far as science is concerned, we are stuck trying to explain these mind-body interactions. So the other alternative is the whole thing is physical. Okay, that the thought is physical, the mind is physical, the body is physical, the world is physical. But then explain, how does the physical world create ideas, thoughts, feelings, emotions, desires, imagination, energy? Again, problem, okay? Matter only is a problem. And mind and matter as two different entities is also a problem. So we're left with a third entity, possibility, consciousness-only monism. Consciousness, which is a non-material, non-physical field of possibilities, is modifying itself into an activity that we call thought, mind, and also an activity that we call perception, which we then interpret as the physical body and the physical world and even the stars and galaxies and the universe. It's all consciousness. And so is energy consciousness. This required energy, prana. But what is prana? It's a word or energy is a word 
to explain the movement of activities that result in objects moving. In fact, uh, uh, in fact, uh, the best definition for energy is, uh, is something that is capable of work, moving, thinking, feeling, seeing, perceiving, all requires energy. But the energy itself is a modified form of consciousness, and you are that. You, as consciousness, modify yourself as mind, brain, body, energy, information, and matter. And then we create stories around this, how the universe was created, black holes, singularities, event horizons, big bounds, all excellent models for explaining our perceptual and uh, cognitive activities, which in turn are modified forms of the self. The self organizing itself as the universe with everything in between. Tattva masi, aham brahmasmi. So prana is an activity of the universe.